Wilson Morales, Black from TV. Hello, Miss Light. <laughs> Hello, it's Judith. How are you, Wilson? Good. You know, it, it never seems like you're always on TV because I, I watch countless hours of Law & Order whenever it's on. <laughs> and so right. there's never a time when you're not on TV. So that goes to say you're, you're always in different projects. What went into saying you have to play Joan? Say that again. What went into playing Joan? What, are, what went into saying yes? It, look, there, I've never gotten to play a character like this. And what's so exciting about it and also incredibly valuable is this, the comedy, the drama, the horror, and what does it mean to be a person who has had mental health issues for such a long time? Uh, and how does she deal with that? And one of the things that this show is doing, I think, and that Jeff and Sharon have done in creating these characters is that they're multidimensional. And you also see, wait a minute, you think it's going to be one thing and then it becomes something else. And so the richness of character is something that's really interesting and compelling to me. And I've never gotten to play anybody like this. So this is really, this is really fun for me. And I love the people on the show. I mean, Courtney's so, such a darling and she's working so hard and she's so good in this. And Greg Kinnear, and I get to work with Gus Burney, who is one of my dearest friend, Reed Burney's. Uh, we just did, Reed and I just did a film together in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, his daughter, Gus, is uh, my granddaughter. So it's just kind of like family for me. So it is a family affair. But in saying that, you know, you've done so many roles over the years. Do you take stock into the characters you play? Like, are you doing research or is it like, oh, it's a job. I'm going to play this role. I may have played it some type before. Or are you doing, go into the research of it all? I do. I do everything. I mean, I work differently on each part. It's a, it's a great question. The, 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 one of the things that I, that I really wanted to do with this was to really go deeper into investigating mental illness and what it means to be on lithium for such a long time. Um, and how does one react in that? And what can be found that's dramatic and poignant and important and informational, but at the same time, funny and um, how one deals with oneself. And the, the show is dealing with all of those issues. It's dealing with mental illness. It's dealing with spousal uh, relationships, spouses and, and parents and children, and also women as they age. So there's this kind of conglomerate of work that I do when I start to see what the script is saying and how the script is really focusing on this particular character and how she's relating to other people. So I do a lot of my own personal work on that. And then I just come on the set and I sort of throw it out and see what everybody else is doing and kind of jump in. It's like jump rope, you know, when you used to jump in. <laughs> so before I let you go, with so many themes involved with this show, what is the one thing that would sell it to get an audience right away? The combination, the combination that everybody uh, is going to be very surprised by, I think, which is that it's comedy and horror and drama. So you've got a, a triple somersault. You've got a triple threat. And I, I just, and I mean, please, you've got Courtney and Greg. I mean, please, it's got cool. everything going for it and great writing and great producing. It's been a pleasure. Have yourself a great day. You too. Nice to see you.